live from PHL with a busy day at the airport. Sharifa. Yeah, busy day, Walter. People trying to make it to their destination. And you know, this travel rush isn't unexpected. It happens every year, but this year, even more people expect it to travel no matter which method you decide to go. Whether by car, train, or plane, millions are traveling this July 4th weekend. We caught up with Jocelyn and her family just arriving back to Philadelphia from Prince Edward Island, Canada. We were delayed a little bit. Yeah, we little, had like a two hour, a like an hour delay. and a half delay. But yeah. And um, our bags got delayed the first go round, but they got to our place in like a couple days. So traveling early, but even they didn't escape some of the holiday rush. 600,000 people are expected to pass through the Philadelphia International Airport throughout the holiday in this upcoming week. 47,000 people expected to fly out today, and the roads are also busy. Yeah, the traffic has been kind of crazy, especially when you get closer to the airport. It was stop and go traffic along 76 this afternoon. AAA estimates 43.2 million people will travel by car, like some. Samantha Givens, who's ditching her plan to drive to Florida. I actually booked my ticket yesterday, so thinking about that it was horrible. Last minute, it was almost a thousand dollars to get back to Florida. <laughs> Tackling the rush, but she says she has no other choice. I had to get back home. I had to go back to work. And you can see some of the arrivals here. We've spoke to quite a few people. They say smooth sailing so far today, even with the amount of people that were expected to be traveling throughout the airport. We know the next big travel day will be Wednesday. We're live from Philadelphia International Airport, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 6, Action News. Walter. All right, thank you, Sharifa.